The man who made Tiki Taka almost perfect, Pep Guardiola, revolutionized football and led Barcelona to 14 out of a possible 19 trophies between 2008 and 2012. The Spanish national team were world and European champions at the same time by bolstering the Tiki Taka style. But in the last five years, it seems that Tiki Taka is beginning to fade. Since Guardiola left Barcelona in 2012, Real Madrid have won three European titles in the last four years, while the Spanish national team lost both their crowns. So, is Tiki Taka dead in 2017, or has it just evolved? First, let's discuss the basis of the Tiki Taka style. Barcelona's Tiki Taka style was based on the passing and positioning excellence of midfielders Andres Iniesta and Xavi. During Guardiola's time at the helm, Barcelona's players were constantly playing in triangles during the build-up, allowing them to always have a teammate free to receive a short pass. Passing the ball around quickly and directly cut errors to a minimum and it was almost impossible for them to lose possession. On the rare occasions it happened, Barcelona were quick to press the opposition with all available players to regain possession. In defence, Guardiola often used a midfielder to maximise the passing potential of the squad. His defensive line was always very high up the field and he installed a sweeper keeper into his team. Victor Valdez was expected to take part in the build-up phase and sweep every dangerous long ball, even outside his penalty area. This tactic denied space to opponents behind the defence and allowed Lionel Messi to flourish in the final third of the pitch. However, after Xavi departed and Barcelona struggled to find a midfield partner for the ageing Iniesta, the Catalans had to modify their playing style. Instead of comfortably passing back and forwards in the middle of the field, they adopted a more direct approach. After forming the attacking trio of Messi, Luis Suarez and Neymar, Barcelona moved the ball to the final third of the field much faster. That caused passing accuracy and possession to drop, but they kept the goal machine running thanks to the excellence of their amazing attacking trident. Guardiola struggled to implement the tiki-taka style to Bayern Munich completely. He had his sweeper-keeper in Manuel Neuer, Javi Martinez, the midfielder who fit into the defensive line perfectly, they executed high pressing flawlessly, but the attack was very different from Barcelona's. Robert Lewandowski is a classic striker, complemented by Franck Ribéry and Ian Robin as wingers. While he was at Barcelona, Guardiola urged his players to roam freely in the last quarter to create gaps in the opposing defence, which would eventually lead to goals. At Bayern, Guardiola instructed his players to find Lewandowski in the penalty area and feed the Polish striker with assists. That tactic was fruitful in the Bundesliga, Bayern won back-to-back -back titles, but he failed to win European silverware for the club, which was the top priority in Munich. In 2017, we can find elements of Tiki Taka in unexpected places. Apart from Guardiola's Manchester City, who clearly have some elements of Tiki Taka installed into their playing style, Tottenham Hotspur and Napoli are two other clubs which took the most elements out of the famous Barcelona concept. After losing Gonzalo Higuain to Juventus, Napoli had to tweak their playing style in order to stay competitive for the Serie A title. Napoli play in the same 4-3-3 formation which was the trademark of Tiki Taka Barcelona. Pepe Reina acts as a sweeper-keeper, while Raul Albiol, a technically gifted defender, takes part in the build-up. Marek Hamzik has an absolute creative freedom in the middle of the park and he feeds the attackers, Insigne, Mertens and Callejon, while Mertens flourishes in the false nine position. He scored 38 goals in 48 Serie A matches after Higuain departed. When their opponents have the ball, Napoli's pressing resembles Barcelona's trademark pressing under Guardiola too. Their defensive line is high and they try to deny their opponent's space by closing them down aggressively. While Napoli took the team composition and defending style from Barcelona, Tottenham took Barca's possession and build-up style. Tottenham used Deli Alli's combination of speed, strength and excellent positioning and the passing excellence of Christian Eriksen to gain more possession than their domestic opponents. They exploit triangles in the midfield in a quest to put Harry Kane in the position which is dangerous for their opponents. By moving towards the opposition penalty box using numerous short passes and dominating ball possession, Spurs dictate the pace and style of the game and eventually break down opposing teams. Barcelona's glory tiki-taka years with Guardiola have passed. The style which made Barcelona and the Spanish national team one of the best in the history of football had to be modified because the players who were exceptional in that style of play retired or were at the end of their illustrious careers. However, 
that doesn't mean that Tiki Taka is dead. Almost every La Liga club was influenced by Tiki Taka, and some of the ideas implemented by Guardiola are currently being executed across the continent. The golden generation led by Iniesta and Xavi is no more, but their influence permanently changed football as a game. What do you think?